Democratic delegates who had already pledged their support for President Biden have now been released from that pledge. In tonight's Politics at Large, I spoke to two Democratic delegates about their new roles in this historic election. You could still pledge to whoever you want, correct? Yes. I mean, any candidate can throw their hat in the ring at this point in time, and any delegate can vote for whoever they want. Uh, but I have the sense, talking to fellow delegates today, that everybody's on board uh, with the vice president. Steve Maviglio is a Democratic delegate from Sacramento who is waiting by his phone for a call from Democratic Party leaders. No, I think what's going to happen is the delegates will be called tomorrow to take their temperature on what's been happening. Uh, the Biden campaign has reached out to me twice already uh, during the last few weeks. We're now free agents, so we're no longer pledged. Steve Cohn is also a delegate from Sacramento processing this stunning moment in presidential history. But I thought, well, this year could be different. Not that I was hoping that, uh, you know, Biden would age before our eyes, but I think we did see that happening. It happens to all presidents. Both Democratic delegates say they are planning to pledge their support for Kamala Harris following Biden's endorsement of her. I think it's huge. I think the president's endorsement uh, not only was important to re-emphasize her credentials, but also to send a signal to delegates and the rest of the Democrats that he picked her to be the vice president because he thought she was the best person equipped to take the job if anything had ever happened to him. I think she will uh, be the overwhelming favorite. And, and frankly, it's hard for me to see another candidate emerge who could put together a, a credible alternative. Now, both delegates uh, Maviglio and Cohn say they expect Kamala Harris to play up her youth in comparison with Trump's age now and also draw a distinction between her work as a former prosecutor, highlighting Donald Trump's now criminal record.